something called fructose 6 phosphate fructose 6 phosphate forms fructose 1 comma 6 bisphosphate and this is broken down by something known as aldolase okay so far all of these have six carbon atoms hmm? and it is then converted to form something called glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and you have something called dihydroxy acetone phosphate okay just be with me okay now this is a reversible step all are reversible but here this is a very important step in glycolysis please concentrate Every step, every dihydroxy acetone phosphate formed is immediately reconverted to form a glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. So, even though we do not write here, it is understood that from this step onwards, how many molecules of glyceraldehyde is there? Two. Where is the second one coming? From your dihydroxy acetone phosphate. This glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is then converted to form a 1, 3 bisphosphoglycerate. 1 comma 3 bisphosphoglycerate forms something called 3 phosphoglycerate 3 phosphoglycerate forms 2 phosphoglycerate 2 phosphoglycerate forms phosphoenol pyruvate okay and phosphoenol pyruvate results in the last step of glycolysis which is called pyruvate over shall we start What's the first step? Glucose. Huh? I'll come to the uh, enzymes and ATPs a little later, but first let's learn the steps. Glucose forms glucose 6-phosphate. This forms fructose 6-phosphate. This forms fructose 1-6-bisphosphate. Broken down by aldolase to form glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Every molecule of dihydroxyacetone phosphate is reconverted to form a glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. It is then converted to form 1, 3 bisphosphoglycerate. 1, 3 forms 3 phosphoglycerate. That forms 2 phosphoglycerate. That forms phosphoenol pyruvate. And it forms pyruvate. Now, without looking into your textbook, can you try doing this in your mind and without looking at the board? No worry. Okay. Take another, take two minutes. Not the usual one minute. Take two minutes. Come on. You should know it properly. And you should know it ulta also. I'm not joking. Okay, do it. I'll first, first you learn the forward. Shall I? Hmm? Let me just explain a little bit and then uh, you'll have to go back, write it and learn it. Because you should remember this for one year. The day your exam is over, you take it out. <laughs> Until then, somehow you keep it there. Okay? Right. <clears throat> now what happens here is uh, glucose is acted upon by two enzymes. It's either called hexokinase or you have another step called glucokinase which you can see in the book isn't it what are the two enzymes there hexokinase or glucokinase which converts your glucose to form glucose 6 phosphate 
Shall we do it all of you? Now look up, look this side, look this side. Okay. Hey. Glucose is forming? Glucose 6 phosphate. Glucose 6 phosphate? Fructose 6 phosphate. Fructose 1, 6. Big product. Glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Which is more important for us? Glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Now this forms 1, 3 bisphosphoglycerate. Forming? 3 phosphoglycerate forming 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 by the way okay some of you might not be able to get it one shot but you can just practice it it will come right now the other the opposite is very very important pyruvate forms phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate form 2 phosphoglycerate 3 phosphoglycerate 1 comma 3 this phosphoglycerate 3 phosphate Fructose 1, 6, bisphosphate. Fructose I don't think I should teach you all biochemistry. You're excellent. <laughs> right. So, <clears throat> the first step is acted upon by hexokinase or glucokinase. The difference between these two enzymes is glucokinase comes into action only when there is abundant amount of glucose. After a heavy meal, in the afternoon, immediately let us say the first enzyme to come in will be your glucokinase. Hexokinase is not like that. It will act on every, uh, even if the glucose uh, amount of glucose is very, very low, it is present everywhere. Glucokinase is majorly present in your liver. Okay. So the first step. Now if you see carefully, glucose 6-phosphate is getting converted to form something called fructose 6-phosphate. So what is happening here, both are hexoses and all that is happening here that it is an isomerase. So that is why the enzyme there is called the phospho hexose isomerase okay so the enzyme is called a phospho hexose isomerase then this step here fructose 6 phosphate is becoming something called fructose 1 comma 6 bisphosphate which is a very 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 important step catalyzed by an enzyme called phospho fructokinase then you have aldolase here then we have glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate which is acted upon by a dehydrogenase enzyme so it's called glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase okay then 1 comma 3 is getting converted to 3 phosphoglycerate so that particular enzyme is called phosphoglycerate kinase okay now 3 phosphoglycerate is just becoming 2 phosphoglycerate therefore it is just a mutase so you have an enzyme called phosphoglycerate mutase then a 2-phosphoglycerate is converting to form a phosphoenol pyruvate, enol. So the enzyme there is called enolase. I don't know if you can understand what's on the board, but please look into your book. Okay, enolase. And phosphoenol pyruvate is then converted to form pyruvate, and that is with the help of an enzyme called as pyruvate kinase. Okay, let me repeat. The first enzyme is what? Hexokinase or glucokinase. Now see carefully. Glucose 6-phosphate is just becoming a fructose 6-phosphate. So it's just an isomerizing reaction. Both contain 6 carbon atoms. So it's a phosphohexose isomerase. Fructose 6-phosphate is getting converted to fructose 1, 6 bisphosphate by the help of a very important key enzyme called phosphofructokinase. You have to repeat them so that it stays in your mind. Then aldolase will break it down into two. Of each of them have three carbon atoms each, glyceraldehyde, three phosphate, and dihydroxyacetone phosphate. Therefore, this enzyme here, which does this reconversion between these two, is called phosphotriose isomerase because both have three carbon atoms. Can you see it? Phosphotriose isomerase. From now on, it's only glyceraldehyde three phosphate that is important for us. So the enzyme is called glyceraldehyde three phosphodehydrogenase. And 1, 3 bisphosphoglycerate is becoming 3 phosphoglycerate. So the enzyme is called phosphoglycerate kinase. Then phosphoglycerate mutase. Then enolase. And then pyruvate kinase. Come on, take another minute. Now learn that.
shall we easy okay <clears throat> Fructose 6 phosphate is becoming fructose 1, 6 bisphosphate.